Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We recently made a video about Apple's iOS 18.1 and their first round of AI-based Apple intelligence features. You can check that out through the provided link. But now Apple has moved on to iOS 18.2. So what new features do we get with this update? Let's dive into it and find out. AI is the hot new trend in the smartphone world, and while Apple is a bit behind what we've already seen from Google and Samsung, it's quickly set to catch up. The iPhone 16 series actually launched without the Apple Intelligence AI features, and they came later via a software update to iOS 18.1. With iOS 18.2, we get even more features, and we'll start off with an even smarter Siri. Now you'll be able to ask Siri contextual questions involving your own personal life. For example, you can ask it when to pick up your mom from the airport, or when did you plan the dinner date, and she'll look into your conversations and let you know. Plus, in iOS 18.2, you get ChatGPT integrated directly into Siri for even more functionality. If you start your query with Ask ChatGPT, then your prompt will bypass Siri and get sent to OpenAI instead. ChatGPT is off by default and you have to manually enable it, but after that you can use it without needing to log in to OpenAI, unless you want to. You can ask ChatGPT to do all sorts of things for you. You'll get the full ChatGPT functionality on your iPhone on the fly, and if you have Apple EarPods, you can hear the responses in your ear. ChatGPT is also getting integrated with the Apple Intelligence writing tools, which are accessible from pretty much any app you can input text to. These writing tools were previously able to change the style of your text, but now, thanks to ChatGPT, you have a more controlled approach. Describe your change. This will rewrite your text to fit your specific needs. And not only that, you can even generate entire text from scratch using the Compose with ChatGPT function. And besides text, there are plenty of features in iOS 18.2 that have to do with image generation. The main tool for this is called the Image Playground. It has its own dedicated app, and you can also find its functionality built into other apps like Messages. All you need to do is enter a description of the image you want, and the AI will take care of the rest. The Image Playground can also provide prompts and styles for you to choose from and combine to help guide your creative process. With each selection, you get previews to give you an idea of which direction you're going. In the end, these will all come out with a cartoony look. Apple doesn't want people to bend reality with photorealistic images. You can also generate images within the Notes app. Image Wand is a feature meant for the Apple Pencil, but it works for your finger too. Just sketch an image and then circle it, and the AI will turn that into a real AI-generated artwork. Another functionality is that the AI can read your notes and create an image from scratch based on what the notes say. Just circle an empty space near the text, and the AI will make something that fits the surrounding context. One other means of making images is Genmoji. If you can't find the perfect emoji to fit the situation, why not just ask AI to generate one? The functionality is built right into the emoji section of the keyboard. When you choose to create a new emoji, you again give the AI a prompt to follow. Then it will create up to four emojis from this, and you can choose the best one. You can even create emojis that look like your friends and family for extra personalized reactions. And finally, going back to ChatGPT and Siri, you can use this interface to describe and generate an image from OpenAI. The last feature we'll go over here is visual intelligence. It's something like a beefed up Google Lens. If you long press the camera control key, you'll launch visual intelligence, and then you can use the camera to scan and recognize objects in your surroundings. This way, you can identify things that you're curious about, or search for objects that you see in order to buy them online. Apple describes using visual intelligence to get ratings for restaurants and businesses, and even look up breeds of dogs. While Apple Intelligence is the centerpiece, iOS 18.2 brings some other changes as well, like Apple Mail, which has been revamped with contact photos and categories. These categories include primary, transactions, updates, and promotions, 
and your mail will automatically be sorted into them. Or you can disable this if you don't want to use it. The camera control key is evolving too. Now there's a setting which will lock the exposure and focus when you light press on the key, holding them in place until you fully press down to snap the photo, or you release your finger. You can also adjust the double click speed of the camera control key. And you can have the camera control key start the camera only when your screen is on, to help you avoid accidental activations in your pocket. And besides that, there is a new option to set up your default apps in a single place in settings. So it's much easier to designate a default browser and keyboard, among other categories. And with the Find My functionality, you can now share the location of a lost item. The function generates a link which you can then send to someone. So there you have it guys, iOS 18.2. It packs some nice new features, including the exciting AI ones. There is some overlap between Apple Intelligence and the integrated ChatGPT features, but if you're an advanced ChatGPT user already, you'll find it great to have a direct way to call it up throughout the iPhone's interface. Let us know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.